Yo, what is going on, you guys? I'm Flaparts, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about how supply drops from Advanced Warfare are going to be creeping their way into Black Ops 3, which is actually kind of crazy. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys haven't heard already, which I don't know how you guys haven't heard already because it's been blowing up in the Call of Duty community. Everybody's having their mixed views on it. They don't know what to think about it, whether they love it, they hate it, if they don't want to buy the game anymore, they feel like it ruined it, or if they're really happy to find out that they're going to be able to earn stuff in game yet again, like they did in Advanced Warfare, but in into Black Ops 3. So if you guys haven't heard about it, I'm going to let you guys know about it today. This is going to be pretty exciting. I think it's going to be pretty cool because it's not going to be a pay to win system, a micro transactive system. I'm sure at some point in time, you're going to be able to buy them, but it's not really going to be anything that's going to be like pay to win or needing to get this awesome variant or anything like that. This is actually something that I think a lot of people are going to be able to enjoy. And it's not something that a lot of people are going to be trying to actually be playing towards, but more like, oh, it's cool. I got this supply drop. I'm going to be able to open it up get what it is and then just proceed and play the game as normal so again if you guys haven't heard supply drops are apparently going to be returning into black ops 3 and how i know this is because i've been doing a little bit of research ever since i found out as well and basically what i guess happened here is that some people managed to get black ops 3 early they've been playing in it and they've been looking through all the options and everything like that and there are some things in the game that are locked and it says you can only unlock this item or variant or whatever it is through supply drops from something called the black market now i'm not exactly sure what the black market is supposed to be in terms of black ops 3 but i'm thinking maybe it's something that we've kind of already seen before within the black ops series so if anyone's really remember playing black ops 1 which is one of my favorite call of duties of all time in black ops 1 you would play the game and when you played multiplayer mode you could do these challenges and everything like that and you could earn in-game call of duty money and then that money would go towards buying different weapons different attachments different things for your class setup and everything like that so maybe there's going to be an option to have like uh challenges and things like that for the black market specifically and then you could do these challenges you would earn this kind of in-game money and then that money would go towards buying these different kind of tiers maybe for supply drops maybe there's one better than the other and maybe you would get something kind of cool looking or kind of like meh didn't really change too much or something like that i'm not exactly sure what it could be but i'm sure it's going to be something like that or maybe the black market is going to be some kind of like very difficult challenge that you need to do and if you do complete it you're going to be able to get a supply drop from that so either way i mean i'm not exactly sure how to get them or what the black market is but that's just kind of where i'm going with it but i'm not going to know until the game comes out but I think the biggest question that's going to be on everybody's mind about supply drops are, are they going to be something that's going to be game changing, game breaking, a pay to win system, a micro transaction system where people are going to be buying 50 billion supply drops, putting them in a video, and then trying to get the most OP weapon or something like that. And as far as I'm concerned, and as far as the information that's been leaked so far, it seems like it's not going to be anything like that. Supply drops do not contain anything that is going to be a weapon variant, which means every weapon that we seen so far in the beta whether there's new ones or old ones or whatever it's going to be is going to remain the same i'm sure by the time the game actually comes out the stats are going to change a little bit here and there and things are going to be buffed or nerfed by then but by the time the game comes out when you guys are playing it there's not going to be any kind of variant so you're not going to see like the arc 7 in a variant type with a different name and it has like a plus 7 damage or plus whatever this and that it's not going to have any kind of variant weapons or anything like that at all from the amount of information that's been leaked so far about supply drops in black ops 3 it seems like the only thing that you're really going to be able to get inside of these supply drops are going to be purely cosmetic items or actions for the cosmetic items it seems like it's going to be stuff for your character like the character gear that you see in advanced warfare like loadouts helmets gloves pants boots and all that stuff of course it's going to be stuff more towards the black ops 3 it's not going to look exactly like stuff in advanced warfare but i'm sure we're going to see things that are very very similar as well as there's going to be something that they've actually mentioned in the article which is the attachment variant so if you have something like extended mag or a foregrip or a quick draw or something like that something that you would put onto your weapon you're gonna have a variant now it's not gonna change the stats on it like if you had a quick draw and then you had a variant quick draw it's not gonna be like two times faster or anything like that and what it does it's not gonna change the ability but it's just gonna make it change the way it looks so for example if you had a extended mag normally you'll just have an extended mag it just looks a little bit longer but if you got an extended mag variant maybe it's gonna have a different shape or a different look or maybe it'll have a camo on it or something like that or maybe it'll just be a different color now in terms of cosmetic actions according to the article that i was reading they've added something in the game called gestures and taunts and basically what it is is if you guys ever play something like loadout or destiny you're going to be able to do these actions like 
jumping around, dancing, falling to the floor, being very dramatic or laughing or bowing and things like that, you're going to be able to do in Black Ops 3. Now, I'm not exactly sure how it's going to be, but if I had to guess, at the end of the round, if you guys ever played the Black Ops 3 beta, you're going to notice that whenever you play the game, at the end of the round, on the winning team, you had the top three players from that team, and they kind of just stood there. They didn't really do anything. They were there holding their weapons or whatever, and they were kind of just looking around. But I'm sure what it really is, is that if you set a taunt or a gesture, maybe it's going to be like a teabagging thing. Maybe it's going to be like pelvis thrusting or a whip whip nay 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 or something like that. It's going to be shown at the end if your team wins and you're at the top three players, you're going to be able to go ahead and do your gesture or your action or your taunt or whatever it is to the losing team and things like that so that's going to be pretty interesting and that's going to be basically the stuff that's going to be inside of these supply jobs it's not going to be pay to win it's not going to really need micro transactions i'm sure they're going to do it to get more money but it's not really going to be anything game breaking or changing or anything like that to ruin the experience for anybody who's going to really be enjoying call of duty again but i want to know what you guys think about supply jobs coming into black ops 3 is it going to be a good thing is it going to be a bad thing is it going to ruin your experience maybe an enhance your experience or maybe you're not going to buy the game anymore maybe you still will get the game i don't know let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below as well as while you're down there why don't you guys hit the like button if you guys did enjoy this video and maybe subscribe if you're new if you guys want to see more awesome videos coming to my channel thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time so later days and peace out